Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at a couple of things I bought from Archer and Olive for their St. Patrick's Day sale. We're going to slice boxes open again. <laughs> Really strong tape. Uh, okay. Just the last video. Oh, yeah. Packing material for prizes. Cool. Maybe they didn't put one in here. I don't remember if they put a packing list in, to be perfectly honest with you. Some companies don't. Nope, we're good. Okay. Okay, so when I did the marker video and the Archer and Olive video and the uh, Amanda Rachel Lee video, I said that we're gonna do the marker and pen and gel pen and all that stuff tests, acrylograph tests, calligraph tests. We're gonna test it all. Um, I was waiting for one more. So I've been looking for these. These are acrylographs. These were a collab with uh, Plant Based Bride, um, Elizabeth. Turnbull, I think is her name. Um, I like watching her channel. She's pretty cool. Um, and everything is like earth tone brown. She does this on purpose. Um, so she had this set of acrylographs. I think there were notebooks too. Um, but I've been looking for these and then coincidentally when I got the message about the sale and went onto the website, there they were. So I got them. So I'm sad about the box being damaged in shipping. That's upsetting. Um, but these were like seriously discounted because it was that St. Patrick's Day sale so I think they were like 17 bucks or something like that they might have been less I would have to look I'll pop it up on the screen because no packing list so I have absolutely no idea <laughs> what I paid for these um, and I do believe these are pre name on the markers but I could be wrong I saw a video she did she told me what the colors were in that video yeah it's not here um, so mostly green and then this gold, and then this kind of orangey brown is what's in here. Um, so these are, you can only get these colors through this. None of these are Archer and Olive regular colors. These are all colors that she picked kind of like with the Amanda Rich Lee line or collab. So we are going to do the tests. I've got all the stuff down here. I brought down all the pens. I brought down everything. And those videos will be coming very soon. Um, problem is I have like a lot of things to film and I have a lot of things I already filmed so I'm starting to wonder like how long is it going to be <laughs> until some of these things get out the plan with me is obviously get priority because they're obviously you know time based you're not going to want to watch a March uh, plan with me in you know June or something so a little hard to do these I mean like this is you gotta admit this is pretty cool there's no other packaging like that um, but it's a bit of a pain to get it started to close it back up all right, so I got that in the sale. This, I don't believe was on sale, but it was released that day. So this is one of those April theme boxes, and I never seem to get the theme boxes because they don't come back in stock until they're not worthwhile anymore because that holiday or whatever is gone. So this is the April one. So we've got a message from Bonnie about why she started Archer and Olive. I think this is like in the emails. It's in the, um, it's on the website. It's, it's pretty much everywhere. Um, and it comes nicely wrapped that way so that's cool so let's move the box so that we have like actual space oh i ripped the sticker darn it oh. okay so free tissue paper sticker roll washi Oh my god, these vellum envelopes hate me. They rip every time. I end up with like one little bit. Good grief. Okay, so this is like a little Archer and Olive stencil. So it says April, it says Archer and Olive, and then you've got like some leaves and some flowers and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like these. And we've got maybe this one. This one didn't rip. What do we got here? Stickers. Paper stickers? What are you? They're very thin. 
Is this not a sticker? Is this just paper? Maybe it's just paper. It feels like it should be a sticker. But it's really thin and I don't want to... Oh yeah, that's a sticker. Okay. Hold on. I found a more interested in coming apart second. No. Alright, it was. Now it is not. <laughs> but these are stickers. They're super thin though. I wonder if they're like vellum or something? They don't... I don't know. They don't feel like vellum. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, they're definitely stickers. Well, that's neat. They are some kind of very sticky, <laughs> somewhat translucent paper. Rice paper, maybe? I don't know. Um, they might be like giant washi stickers? I have no idea. But that's really cool. So we've got this one. We've got this one. And we've got this one. So three stickers that I would suggest being super careful with because they are hard to get off the backing and clearly very, very delicate. All right, what else we got here? And we've got stickers. All right, so these would be what they call, I guess the decorative stickers or just stickers is what they call them. We figured that out in the spring release and now I can't remember, but I know for sure that this is what they refer to as planner stickers. Um, which they are. Um, let's see if we can get these envelopes to open without ripping. Sort of. There's a small rip. And it's usually two sheets of exactly the same thing. Which is not always a bad thing. It's in fact two sheets of the same thing. So we've got a cute floral border, some banners, this um, circle, these leaves, April with these leaves coming out of it and some foil. Days of the week, choose joy with some silver foil. A couple of boxes here, bigger box over here, a couple of circles, one with foil, and then foiled and colored date dots. So that's pretty cool. I have to find a way to store these things because they don't fit in my sticker books. And I'm accumulating quite a bit of them now. I still have Mary Ellen stickers over here that I need to use. But I'm going to use them with the acrylographs. I don't want to do the pen test, the acrylographs, so, you know, one thing leads to another. And then these are all leaves, berries, and tiny flowers, and some of them have foil, and they are very, very pretty. So, it looks like that is it for, oh, well, no, we've got the, sorry, we've got sticker rolls and washi tape to look at, and we still have the other item that I bought, too. All right, I'm not forcing these back in here, so I'm just putting them over here. Okay. Now, the spring release boxes were atrocious, and then the sub box boxes for these things were fine. This one does not want to open. I think it was stuck, but it did not rip. Now, I have avoided purchasing these. Every release, <laughs> I have avoided these because I am used to Happy Planner sticker rolls and I'm not like in love with those so let's see what we've got here all right so we've got some square boxes notes a calendar some more boxes notes so they seem to repeat uh, so it looks like it's pretty much these four patterns so you get the floral box the purple notes the um, blue calendar and the uh, yellow box and then this blue one and we already did the pink one so one two three four so you get five and it just keeps repeating so that's not bad um this is a really thick roll for them to all be the same like that um like this is really a very thick roll and this is that same very thin um sticker paper like the uh cutout stickers we were just looking at so there's a lot of these on here um, so if you like this sort of thing, um, this would probably be a really good value, um, because it looks like there's a ton, because they are super thin. Okay, and I would say last but not least, but we still have one more item to go, and the washi tape box did not rip. So it was a spring release snafu, apparently, or I just managed to get the most effective boxes they had. Um, 
All right. These are really pretty. And these are great for April and spring in general. Let's watch these real quick. This stripe is really cool. This just like shouts Easter. Like seriously, just like shouts Easter. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you guys see it? Like seriously, just shouts Easter. Let's get this one. This is pretty. This has some silver foil on it. And this is leaves and flowers. Oops. Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay. okay. All right. Now can we see? Now we can see. Okay. And let's see. Now we've got. And this also has silver foil and leaves and flowers. It is all silver foil. I pulled off too much. But that is very pretty too. And we've got more subtle amounts of silver foil on this one as well. Let me see. Alright, so... I'm going to put these on the card. And then lift them up so that you can see them better because I can't like show you the shiny foil like this. But these are, again, they give you really good sized rolls with their washi. Like they're all like that. They're all the same like circumference width, whatever you want to go with. That's a, a lot of washi on each roll, so that's good. Oops. Unless you keep knocking them down. Alrighty. So oh, here we go. If it will focus. There we go. Okay. So we've got this pretty silver, these florals. And then this is just silver floils on that really pretty blue. And then this stripe that like seriously just, it shouts Easter basket, sorry, it just does. Um, and then this one with the pretty flowers and the subtle hints of silver of uh, silver foil. So I really like these. These are very pretty. Um, to put them back in their box. I have run out of washi storage. Um, I'm having difficulty, see what I do is I organize it by manufacturer. So, um, I'm getting increasing amounts of, like, Happy Planner Washi, Archer and Olive Washi, D.E.K. Washi. I've got, like, two rows of Washi from Live Love Posh. I've got a whole section of Washi I got from Wild University. I've got, um, all of Heather's Washi. I think I mentioned that already. I've got some stuff from the Washi Tape Shop. Um, I've got some stuff from Simply Gilded. Uh, I've got stuff from Michael's. I've got stuff from Amazon. So, I, I'm running out of washi storage. I'm gonna need to buy another like set of drawers or something because what I did was I took one of the set of drawers and I filled it up with like my 0.7 acrylographs by set. Um, which may not be the best long-term storage solution but I wanted to get rid of some boxes so that's what I had done. All right and we looked at the oops stencil. So that's everything that comes in this April I do believe it was like the April florals um, box or something like that. There are two every month. The other one had like I think it had to do with like flying kites or something like that. And that's not really my cup of tea, so I passed on that and I got this one because I've been trying to get one of the floral boxes since they started doing this in January. Um, yeah, I think what it is really is that this roll of stickers is not it's really, this box is too snug for this. And that's why it's difficult to open and close. All right, so the last thing is this notebook that I got. Um, I meant to buy another notebook and then I forgot to put it in the cart and I was not paying more shipping. Um, so next time there's some kind of sale or something, I'll probably try to check it in if it's still there. Um, but this one, and I didn't know that these came in these boxes too, because, you know, if you can't get enough of these boxes. They're fantastic. Um, so this is one of their notepads, which I have never had before because I always buy journals. Um, so this is very nice. It's like vegan leather, kind of looks brown or wood-like. And then check out, oh God, all right, except for the yellow. <laughs> Check out the paper. So the other one I, that I was going to buy and I forgot and then wasn't paying shipping for was the one that's um the white, the black, and the craft paper. I wanted to get that one because I figured that would be really good for the pen tests. Um, but neglected to chuck it in the cart, but I did grab this one. Um, I just found it interesting. Um, and you can rip them out 
I don't necessarily think that I would be like using this like I would one of my happy planner notebooks to like write down notes at work or you know something like that um, but these would be interesting for planner pages journal pages because you can rip them out and do things with them kind of like those giant scrapbook um, pads that we buy at Michael's and Joann's and everywhere else so except for the yellow the colors are pretty cool um, and it is neat that they're perforated like the planner that came in the sub box and you can rip them off and it's got this like neat back cover the back cover inside is purple um, I thought it was another piece of paper but it is not it is the inside back cover and the inside back covers of these do not have pockets which is fine I don't know why you would need a pocket um, but yeah so I thought that would be cool to play with I don't think we're gonna pen test on this I don't know what I'm gonna do about this yellow I don't know maybe I'll ask the person who wins the yellow giveaway if they want like a whole bunch of loose torn out paper um <laughs> I don't know what to do with it now um I don't know I forgot about the yellow I really just thought it was like red and green and purple I forgot about that all right so we got our notebook we got our theme box for the month of April all the stickers and these stickers which are interesting and the plant-based bride acrylographs that I have been like waiting forever for um oh that's right I brought you guys in closer to see the washi didn't I okay now you can see things a little bit so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with a couple of your friends don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any more videos and I'll see you in the next one